too bright. There we go. Reflected off the back wall. Smart. Let's see, let's make sure the audio is working. Looks like I'm hosting Zomber right now. Zomber, hope you're doing well, dude. What up? If you're just joining us, give me one second. I'm just setting up. And I'm guessing there's going to be a massive delay. What's up, everyone? How's it going? Uh, I am going to get started here in a second with Onimusha. But let me just make sure my audio and everything's going well. If you want to sound off in the chat, feel free to. Uh, if you think I sound okay. And we're just going to play like an hour of this, maybe a little longer. Uh, I have to be at work at like 6 a.m. tomorrow. Um, so uh, so I can't play for too long. I'm mainly just trying to make sure my new setup works because I did a lot of rearranging and, uh, and you know, reorganizing my, my place today. Oh, sounds good. All right. It's good enough for me. Sweet. Howdy, howdy. Oh, you sound great. Oh, you sound great, too, even though I can't hear you. But you type very well. How about that? <laughs> Hello, Lonely. How are you today? Welcome to the stream, and everybody, welcome to Onimusha Warlords. I'm going to be 100% honest with you. Uh, I've played this game, I probably beat it like five or ten times back on the PS2 when it first came out. I was working at a, a GameStop, well, it was called Electronic Boutique back then, uh, but uh, I was working at Electronic Boutique when this game came out in the early 2000s. I think it was early 2000s, and, um, and yeah, I, I mean, it was a cool game. But like, what can I say? It was awesome. Uh, it was a, it was supposed to be a Resident Evil game originally, and that's all I remember about it. I don't remember the lore. I know it's based on you know stories from like feudal Japan and uh, the Nobunaga story and everything. Um, so I know there's like like there's some semblance of history to this, but then they also went in their own direction, and that originally this was going to be a a ancient Resident Evil game that was going to take place like in in. Uh, either in feudal Japan or in modern day Japan, but deal with a samurai who's killing zombies, and they decided to change it, you know, to an, an original game, kind of like how they did Devil May Cry. So uh, so that's all I know about it. I don't really remember the story, I don't remember the plot, I don't really remember the characters that much. Um, I haven't really thought about this franchise since, and I know they've done an Onimusha 2 and 3, and I think I played each of those once, and that was it. So uh, I am not well versed in the lore of this game, um, I'm going to play it on easy <laughs> and, uh, and we're just going to have some fun tonight. Uh, we will eventually beat this entire game. We'll play it throughout the, the, you know, probably the next couple months. Um, but, uh, for now, for tonight, we're just going to play like an hour to, to an hour and a half worth. Oh, thank you. Lonely. Lonely says, thank you very much. I'm here. How are you? I'm, I'm feeling better today. Actually, I've, uh, since I got home from the doctor, I've been asleep. I basically rewarded myself with a nap, uh, and then I woke up around seven, did laundry for about an hour and a half uh, till about eight thirty, and then uh, I've been, I was gonna work on some Resident Evil videos and maybe post one tomorrow night, but I don't think I, I knew I was gonna have enough time before the stream started. So what I'm doing right now is I'm going through my gaming channel. So some of you may or may not know that I have a YouTube gaming channel. And I've just kind of abandoned it, like, you know, back at the end of 2017. And I haven't uploaded anything since. And I was focusing ever since then on Venom Vlog on my main channel. So what I'm going to do is over the next, like, um, you know, couple weeks, I'm going to be deleting the game playthroughs from my main channel and uploading them to my gaming channel. And we're going to start using my gaming channel again this year. So my main channel is now Venom Vlog. You just look that up on YouTube and you'll find it. And uh, my gaming channel is going to be called Spitting Venom. Um, and sometimes I may live stream on there, sometimes I might not. Uh, I think most of my streams are going to be here on Twitch. And then we'll just, you know, export them over to uh, YouTube. And I probably won't edit them anymore. Uh, 
at least for a while, um, because that's the one reason I stopped uh, uploading over there was because I would download the videos and spend hours editing them and exporting them and then re-uploading them. And uh, <laughs> Somenosuke, that's our main hero. Um, so and that and they, I just fell behind. I kept falling behind on games to upload. So uh, so now I'm just gonna download them from my main channel and re-upload them. So you'll see a lot of activity on this channel over the next three or four weeks. Uh, but it'll just be me uploading older stuff. So don't feel like you have to watch any of it. You probably already seen some of it, some of you guys and gals. But I figured this would be a good game to bring the channel back with. Uh, this was, you know, only 20 bucks, and I had a credit. T uh, like, I had like $15 left of a credit to use. So I just did it and spent the, the $5 difference and bought this today. I figured this would be a fun game to, you know, um, revisit. Look at that. You're like, oh, the bad guy's dead. You wish it was that simple. What do you know about Nobunaga? Do you even Nobunaga, bro? still looks nice. I mean, I, you can tell it's an early 2000s game based on the CG, but um, you know, I've, what I've heard is they added like some new, like a new soundtrack to this, I think. Um, and I don't know about in the cutscenes, I think maybe just in the main game, I can't remember. Uh, I think the voice acting's the same. I think, I don't, I actually don't know exactly what they've changed on this. But it's cool, I mean, Capcom has just been you know, I see a lot of video game companies over the past, like, three years getting a lot of guff from fans, you know, like Bethesda and Activision and all these companies that are, like, just doing, like, really questionable things sometimes and uh, and, and definitely losing the, the faith that they had from their hardcore audience and their fans. And then you have Capcom, who, you know, for a while people didn't like because of Resident Evil 6, and they were just like, oh, you guys are ruining everything, bring Devil May Cry back, bring Mega Man back, what are you guys doing? And then so Capcom was like, all right, fine, all right, here's a new Street Fighter game. Here's Resident Evil 7, here's Resident Evil 2 Remake, uh, here's re-releases of these Resident Evil games, and now Onimusha, here's Mega Man 11, <laughs> you know, like, they're just like, alright, here's a new Devil May Cry, here's Devil May Cry 5, and, uh, I love that, I mean, it's, <laughs> I love that about them, they're just like, oh, that's what you guys want? Okay, cool, we'll make that, and, uh, I hope it works out, I hope all these games that fans have requested sell well, and, uh, and do well, so that Capcom will continue to, you know, be, to me, one of the number one video game companies out there. But I've always thought that about them. Um, ever since, was it 1942? Was that, like, over-the-top, you know, bombing game from for the original Nintendo? Uh, that was the first game I played, I think, by Capcom. And then Mega Man soon after. And I've been a hardcore Capcom fan ever since. Uh, dear Somonosuke, I am writing this letter dear in the hopes... Somenosuke. Oh, someone's going to read it for us. <laughs> I am writing this letter in All the right. hopes you will read this in time to help. Lonely says, I'm glad you're feeling better. No Something worries about vids. Already subscribed to your gaming castle. channel. I'll watch uh, all the Some things. The you're the best, Lonely. I appreciate it. I, fear that it might I appreciate it very, very much. Thank you. Zombie out, what's up? So hey, man. I don't know if it was earlier today or yesterday, but I saw you online, so I had I had like a lurk on. Uh, I think I, I just put you on for a little bit, and then I think I ended up passing out. It wasn't because of you. It's just because I've been exhausted lately. Um, and I think I took like a little cat nap, but I can't, I can't remember. My days are all confused because I've been taking little naps throughout today and yesterday when I could because uh, at nighttime I haven't been sleeping, so... Although it has been a so yes, I'm good, man. How are you? Good to see you. Thanks for coming in here. Due to the battle between my father Dosen and my brother Yoshitatsu, you are still the only one that I can rely upon. I can only hope Zombie that you out. receive this letter. And that I love that name, Zombie Oat. Yeah, I have two people in the chat: Zombie Oat and Lonely Symbio. It it's life is good, man. Cheers, everybody. I was going to drink water tonight, but my head's been hurting since I got home from the doctor, because um, I didn't eat lunch till like, way late in the afternoon. So, um, so yeah, I'm like, all right, I need a Pepsi tonight. And I'm probably going to, even though I have to be at work this at, like, sure. 6, I'm probably going to stay up working on, you know, fixing my two YouTube Princess channels to tonight. Two ways to get there. The Western path. So you saw in the intro, Nobunaga got shot through the throat, and now he's 
leading another army towards us. Uh, he can't be killed. I think he made a deal with a demon. And so uh, there's a... We got this letter, and it looks like this princess could be the key. Oh, it's in... Th okay, 3D movement. That's awesome. All right, she's checking that trail. We're going to go this way. Sir, please save Princess Yuki. I'll do my best. I was completely ready for tank controls there, and uh, I'm happy. It, I'm happy it's in 3D actually. Cheers, cheers. Uh, yeah, I was on for a bit testing the waters. LOL, and I'm a great man, and I'm happy Princess to see Yuki. you on here, bro. You guys are gonna see me on here um, a lot, a lot more this year than last year. I have a schedule I'm gonna make for Twitch where um, each month we're just going to play I'm just going to keep it simple I don't I'm you know money is always a factor on stuff um, if we if we end up building up donations again and you guys want me to get a certain game we'll definitely talk about it uh, for the most part um, I want to spend this year streaming a Resident Evil game every month um, Yuki, your highness. and uh, we'll you know probably just beat them once each and if there's any bonus modes maybe we'll have a couple nights where we just do some bonus modes but I'm thinking maybe one night a week um or like or like one week i'll do two streams and then skip a week and then do two streams the next week you know the following week i may do that schedule um i don't know if i could do one week but i'll i'm gonna figure it out i'm gonna do whatever is easiest for people to remember i'm thinking one stream a week you know at a certain time um and try to keep it consistent and we'll just play for you know as many hours as i can uh, and we'll try to beat you know, a game, like a, a specific Resident Evil game. Uh, but I have the whole year planned out. And if I have time to squeeze in extra streams, that's when we'll get to do stuff like this, like Onimusha or South Park or something. Um, but if any donation stuff we make this year, I kind of want to put it towards more gear, so that in 2020 I can actually have, you know, you know, re a real gaming kind of setup. Um, and so I can game more in 2020. So that's my one-year plan with the, the Twitch stream here. So you'll see a lot more of me on Twitch this year. And then we'll be utilizing the gaming channel. So as soon as I finish these, I, like I said, I might not even upload them. I mean, uh, download them and edit them. I might just upload them straight to YouTube. So you guys will see them. You know, YouTubers can, if they miss the live stream, they can watch it like the next day. That'd be dope, man. Looking forward to it. Thanks, man. Well, I hope testing the waters went well for you. That's kind of what I'm doing tonight. I rearranged my room. And I'm, I'm behind me is actually my bed now. And I put my... Um, my shelf way, 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 way back there. And when I, sh when I record my Venom vlogs now, actually this TV that I'm looking at and my computer over here, those are going to be to my back. And I have this corner full of Venom artwork and toys on my desk. And uh, so when I sit here, you'll be able to see a, a new background. And I'll have the camera facing, like I'll be facing this way, and the camera will be looking at me this way. Um, so that's going to be my new setup for, for Venom vlog from from now on and all my YouTube shows because normally I face my camera I mean I face my TVs even though sometimes they're not on uh, when I record I'll sometimes just face my TVs and put my phone on top of my computer or my PlayStation I mean my TV um, and uh, record from that angle but uh, but now I have a tripod and I'm gonna have everything you know recorded the opposite way now yeah I totally looking forward to hanging out and watching more oh awesome well, I hope you enjoy the streams and I'm going to redo Mubot and everything, uh, you know, tonight we're, I didn't have time to do any of that, but uh, for, you know, if, if we get to the point where we start getting donations again, because I know I've kind of left, like, lost touch with this channel, so um, if we build it back up to get to that point where we're getting donations again, I'll have a link drop in the chat from time to time um, with the help of Mubot. All right, I got the instructions. Absorbing souls, hold down circle to absorb the souls that emerge after defeating demons. Red souls enhance orbs, swords, and items. Blue recovers your magic power, and yellow recovers your health. Uh, magic attack, press triangle to attack with magic while you have an orb equipped. Every time you use magic, wow, that's, a, that's okay, cool. So I get, so triangle uses magic. Sucking souls is circle. Enhance your orb, swords, and items using the red souls you have absorbed from enemies. Okay. What's that? 
It's a magic mirror. What will you do? Oh, let's save. Save completed. All right. We can't enhance anything yet, I don't think. Oh, we have an herb. You don't have enough souls to enhance herbs. So. Well, okay then. And just like any like Resident Evil or anything, there's a... Oh, we took the princess. There's, you know, definitely explore if you can. Um, I'm sure I'll miss things. But, uh, yeah, and like I said, this is like kind of like Resident Evil. I mean, it's got the fixed cameras. This was supposed to be a Resident Evil game, I think, originally. Or they, they thought about it for, like, you know, a couple meetings. <laughs> and then they were like, meh, we don't have to do a samurai Resident Evil game. We'll just make up our own story. Zombie out says, hey, lonely. Hey, nine people in here. Hello, everyone. Welcome. All right. Definitely a button masher. Boom. Give me those souls, yo. All right. We did all right there. That was like a, that move I did, I think, was like a quick dodge slash thing. Oh, what's this? I'm always hesitant. Anytime I go through a door, I'm like, uh, I should probably backtrack and make sure I didn't miss anything. Alright, All right, so can't go through there? Okay, cool. So it is pretty linear, I think, this game is, but there's a couple times where it's, it's better just to explore. Hurry! Oh. Whoa! What's up, jerks? The door now. But someone is there. Forget him. Yeah, forget me, yeah. Ooh. Ooh, good one, guys. Give me that. Has anyone here played uh, Animusha before? And, you know, and know anything about it? Know more about the lore than I do? Uh, feel free to jump in the chat and you know, educate me, because <laughs> uh, I am certainly as much as I played this when it first came out. I do not remember it very well. You. Whoa. Sorry. We are very sorry. Please forgive us. What happened to you? It came out of nowhere. And attacked us. <laughs> he like slapped. He's like he's like you. You left me in there. It's like come on, dude. You're an awesome you samurai. Us that way. Right. The forest road there is a shortcut to the keep. Okay. Shortcut to the key. We blockaded the outer citadel leading to the keep, but it would be easy for a monster to break through. Sir, please reach the keep as soon as possible, and rescue the princess. I saw a monstrous shadow climbing the northern stone wall near the keep. What was that? Uh, they slaughtered my comrades one by one. I never thought things would end like this. Jeez, things are bad here, man. Please help me. A two-horned monster attacked me. Two-horned. I had wanted to play this game. Uh, never did, though, and it slipped in my mind, Lonely said. Yeah, I feel like this was one of those Capcom games that it has its hardcore fans, but I don't, it didn't get like a, you know, ooh, ooh, it didn't really get like a, you know, a more of a mass following to it, like, you know, obviously like on the level of Res Evil or even Devil May Cry, I would say has a, a more passionate fan base, um, than Onimusha, at least from my perspective. But I, you know, of course there are fans of this. What a big hole. Did the monster do this? You can't go around it. It seems you can't come back once you go down this hole. Uh, yeah. I mean, I don't know. We probably missed something exploring-wise. But... Oh, dang.
Oh, there is a block, okay. Still got me. Underground temple map, sweet. But like I said, yeah, this game definitely has its its fans, but uh, I just, after the, the three games, and then I think there was like a spinoff that came out, and then there was a tactics game, um, after those kind of came out, I didn't really hear a lot of people talk about it or even want a remaster of it, or at least not like a big, you know, I didn't see a lot of noise about it, but I'm glad Capcom did. It's nice to revisit this. Looks like this mummified monk was supposed to guard this temple. There's a green scroll here. Will you take it? Of course I'll take it. Sugan's note. To the brave one who finds and is reading this scroll, cast all thoughts aside and heed my words. There exists an ogre gauntlet that draws its power from the souls of those who are slain by demons. Master its secrets and great powers will be yours. Remember, without the powers of the ogres, you are no match for the demons. Sugan. I do like that even though they decided not to uh, make a Resident Evil game out of this. There is a... Is that a box up there? I don't think so. Um, even though they decided to, you know, make it an original story, it is cool to see that there's still, like, Resident Evil elements in here. You know, maps and herbs. I love the fixed camera angles. I'm such a sucker for those. Got the Siryu... What the... F Subverted a man their power against. Some kind of codes. Puzzle solving codes, probably. They're, the puzzle in this game I remember being very unique. Uh, <laughs> uh, some of them even to the point where I had to like get help. I think I had the strategy guide to this game when it came out. Um, yeah, I think I did. Oh, what up? What's up, danger? Master Sugen and I have followed the monster that has been kidnapping people around town and has led us to this cave. The cave seems to be a nest for demons. Every kind of monster imaginable, even ones I never would have believed to exist. I love that artwork in the back for the journal. That's so great. They call themselves demons. They hate sunlight and seem to have lived underground since before the human race even existed. Um, you know what? I already want a movie of this. <laughs> I already want someone to, to make a movie about this. Um, samurai demons and stuff? Oh, that would be so cool. Maybe even make it in Japan and just release it in America. Like, you know, don't maybe don't do an American version of it. My master has already made up his mind to go into the cave. I am confident that he has the power to banish the demons. I have a little talent for drawing, and I also have faith and courage, so I will not be afraid of the monsters. As such, I am going to record everything I see. This is going to be the most bizarre book in history. Saimu. All right. Well, you write your book, Saimu. You got the Shiden. I'm worried. We're already getting power-ups and everything. Just, like, throw you right into this, don't they? It was like Devil May Cry had that, too. It was like pretty early on you get, like, a couple little... Uh, power up things in the, in the first one. Speaking of which, we never did finish the the HD collection, and I bought it on the Xbox before I got rid of the Xbox. So, um, did I just? So I'm gonna be honest with you. I wasn't even paying attention. I didn't even see the counter that I only had three moves to do that in. Uh, Wow, okay. That was just... I think that was just luck. I was, I really wasn't even paying attention. Um, okay, cool. Well, that's how you solve that puzzle, for anyone who's watching. Um, Lonely says, it seems like a fun game so far. Yeah, it's pretty cool. It looks, it looks neat. Magic Jewel. What clan has been subverted by the demons? Oh, um...
the Siriu, uh, Siriu clan, maybe? But are we supposed to... Like, what? What are we supposed to put in? Let's see if any of the codes from the file are just in here. Circle Y plus triangle. Circle, square, present. What? Circle Y plus triangle. their power a man subverted is that how that reads I guess we go in this order so triangle thing <laughs> Uh, circle thing and with present under it and then the one for man boom my memory's for shit wow that one's not here the one that says um, their power it has like two Deadpool logos and a present between them. I don't see that on here. So, Seek, what did you think of the Far From Home trailer? Oh, um, eh, it looked okay. Uh, I, uh, I wouldn't say I'm super excited for that movie because I really didn't... I like Homecoming was just, just okay to me. Uh, so, Far From Home, it's I'm not like super pumped for it. Uh, but I am looking forward to some character interactions like Nick Fury and... Peter Parker, I think, would be pretty cool because um, I really like that in the Ultimate Comics. So I think that's going to be a lot of fun. Um, looks like they're starting to develop the love story with him and MJ, which is like, okay, that's cool too. Um, you know, to, you got to have that element to the Spider-Man story, I guess. And yeah, I guess that's I don't know. And Mysterio, that that shot at the end with Mysterio was cool. I got definitely, um, definitely was awesome. I think it's the circle square present one. Oh, we can do the same. Oh. might have missed a file maybe I'm not understanding <laughs> what to do here um, 
subverted a man their power because their power that's not even like a choice that's not even one of the choices over here um yeah i hear you i don't know how i feel about it not taking place in new york either like i get it they're trying to do stuff different but i don't i don't know spider <laughs> spider-man kind of belongs in new york kind of thing yeah um Yeah, um, yeah, I don't, it, I don't know. It's, I, um, I could see that. Like, I mean, for me, it's, I don't really care where a Spider-Man story set if they tell an interesting story, but, um, and I like, I like that they're finally bringing Mysterio in, but I don't know. I'm just kind of meh about it. Um, but that's only because of my feeling of homecoming. Like when I left homecoming, I was like, eh, it was fine. Like, uh, to me, it's not hard to do a Spider-Man movie. That's, that's why I'm astounded that, you know, like amazing Spider-Man two was so terrible. Cause I'm like, it's not really that hard to tell a Spider-Man story. Um, I don't know what the solution to that is. So we're just going to skip it. Can we skip it? What's this? A crystal is fitted in the center and there seems to be light inside. Boom. Uh, but yeah, if, I mean, I don't know. Hopefully it's, hopefully it's, to me, I hope it's better than Homecoming. Um, but uh, I don't know. I'm not, I'm not super excited about the elementals. But then again, I mean, I guess they could just be like, something that um oh whoa they could just be something that uh mysterio has created um to fight spider-man with you know so uh so they may not even be like like the major <clears throat> threat of the film i thought that was kind of funny i was thinking about that i was like oh that'd be cool if he created like his own version of the sinister six where it's like he's the leader and he creates like or five elemental creatures. Oh, yeah, be, that could be pretty cool. Oh. What's up, danger? I think I'm going to just stay... As long as they keep spawning enemies, I might just stay here and fight them, because it's a good way to level up. Mysterio should be dope. Yeah, I thought the trailer was all right. Uh, Lonely, uh, what about you? Yeah, uh, does Lonely, did, did she watch the trailer? Let us know, Lonely. What's up, Lonely? Go in here. Doors close tightly and will not open. Fair enough, yo. Boom. Look at that big mother. Uh, yeah, that little shot at, with Mysterio at the end was pretty cool. Like, where he's like... Like, floats up in the air. Um, and he's like, attacking... Ooh. Where he's like attacking that like uh, elemental creature. That was that was a pretty neat shot. Dang, that guy had a lot of juice on him. You like it a juice? You like it a juice? Hey, leave him alone. Ah, oh, you're alive, dude. Saved you. Oh, is that where they went? 
locked. It's marked by red ink. Why did it have to be red? You can see a dry moat. Did the monster come from the bottom of the moat? You need equipment to ascend. Um, yeah. I, uh, how do I use it? How do I use equipment? Oh, that's quick turn? Nice. Oh, and that's how you pull up the map? Okay. What about my items? Oh, rope ladder. And then I hit don't climb down. Awesome. Sweet. Man, this is kind of cool to play again, man. The environments are really neat looking. Uh, name the relic created by the clan of ogres to destroy the demons. You know what? I bet you, I bet you we'll have to come back to these later. We'll keep finding files. I bet, um, and uh, and that'll and we'll trans we'll be able to translate more like letters and words. So uh, I'm not going to worry about those too much right now. I think those are for backtracking missions, and I think there's a couple things in here you can only do on like second playthroughs, if I'm not mistaken. Medicine. We do not have the purple one. Huh? Oh. Didn't know humans could be such pests. <laughs> <laughs> Where <laughs> is the princess? I w they always give goofy voices to the bad guy, like like big demon monsters. <laughs> Lonely says Mysterio seems cool. I'm not really interested in the Spider-Man movie. It looks okay though. Well, that's like kind of how I feel. Like. Homecoming, I almost didn't even go see it in a theater. The only reason I did was because uh, two of my friends... Um, ooh. Two of my friends, uh, you know, took me. Ooh, dang. Uh, and they were like, you know... They, were re they really wanted to see it. They were like, come on, Spider-Man looks so cool. But for me, I was just kind of like, eh. Well, that sucks. the same button over and over. <laughs> That's how you died. Oh, how convenient. Ooh, yeah, fill that health up, man. Please. Can you hear big weapon? That didn't sound right. Oh, the door's broken. Well, what dumbass did that? Oh, because we're going to go through there eventually. All right, fair enough. Journal number two. I am a sad, pathetic coward, weak and unworthy of the priesthood. My master was seriously injured during the battle against the demons. I could not do anything. I could not save my master. He asked me to bring his wounded body to the entrance of the cave. Then he began to perform his final ceremonial rites. He has made up his mind to offer his life and die as a human sacrifice. With his remaining power, he is trying to sacrifice himself and place a seal on the entrance of the cave so that the demons cannot get out. My master gave me a scroll and a jewel, then ordered me to leave the cave. That was the most humiliating moment of my life. I was relieved to hear that I could leave the cave. I was too, I was too happy to be leaving to worry about my master. I could think only of myself. Afterwards, I hid the scroll and the jewel, and I came back to the master's place of sacrifice. I will never have the willpower of my master... All I can do is learn as much as possible to create a testament of my findings by Samuel. Yeah. Hey, it takes, it takes a lot of balls to admit 
that you're uh, that you're a coward. <laughs> Most people just keep going on being cowards and don't acknowledge it. So good for you. It's always good to self-reflect. Hmm. Oh, I think I remember this guy. Uh, he's like a skeleton looking thing, I think. Oh yeah, look at his head. Like a xenomorph head almost. Yeah, look at this guy. I just like it's very like Face me, demon. Saturday morning cartoon where the bad guy is like <laughs> it's like who are you talking to? I'm the bad guy. Nobunaga. <laughs> Jesus. Um, having some net issues. I apologize if I poof. Hey, that's okay. No problem. I know all about that. Yeah, I hear you guys. I wasn't crazy about Homecoming either, but that being said, come on, it's Spider-Man. Get hyped. <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah. I mean, obviously, I want more Spider-Man stuff. And as long, and like I like I said, as long as other people like it, I'm happy. You know, it's like it's like the Venom comic now. We talk about that. I'm like, yeah, I don't, I'm not liking the book, but there are a lot of people that are, and it's selling well. So, good. Like it, that just means the character stays around longer, and that's what I want. I want the characters. Whoa! Can you just split in half? There we go. There are many strange instruments. Their uses use is unknown. Um. But yeah, I mean, so more Spidey the better, because that's just like, all right, cool keeping Spidey around. That's what I want. I want Spidey to live like another 150 years or more. You got the Quen. The Quen? <laughs> Spidey web emojis. Nice. All right. There appears to be an inscription on it. However, you can't read it. How dare you? What do you mean I can't read? Maybe I'll learn that ability later? Is he gonna get back up? Oh, there's fart clouds. What are those? Wow. Dang, we got a lot of crap from those guys. Nice. I'm glad I figured out how to do that flame sword attack. Because that really helped us out. <laughs> or how do you guys feel about Captain Marvel? Are you too excited for that at all? Uh, I think I've... I might have talked about this before on one of the shows. But um, I don't know really anything about that character. I've been reading comics for 30 years. And I've only had like a handful ex of experiences with Captain Marvel. In appearing in any of the books I've ever read. Because um, I knew about her at first with X-Men, because she, uh... Oh, dude, come on. There we go. You gotta lure those guys out sometimes. Um, so I remember her that, like, Rogue touched her and got her powers, uh, like, took her powers, and they were permanent for some reason. So Rogue, the reason she can fly and has super strength, a lot of it is because of um, Carol Danvers. Um, t 
two of these guys, huh? He's gonna appear over here. Nope. Get off me. Crazy guy, why'd he bite me? Come on, dude. Give me a chance to get my stuff back. I wasted all those flame rounds of uh, the sword on on hitting <laughs> the air. Um, I honestly have no feeling on Captain Marvel. I'm not familiar with her at all. Uh, Lonely says, yeah, how do you feel about it, zombie? I, yeah, I'm the same. I, I actually don't... Um, I kind of like Brie Larson's, like, but I've only seen like a couple movies with her, so I, I, it's hard to say if I, you know, am a fan or not. Um... I know a lot of people out there love making their, you know, SJW battle m remarks, and you know everyone likes to have their 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 fights and pick their battles that way. Uh, me, I don't really. I mean, it's I don't care. It's like if if I, I always go by the movie, you know, like when I see a movie, um, or based on the trailers, like how a movie looks. It's like, hey, if you're not doing a good job marketing, probably not going to see your movie. Um, so the trailers just look, yeah, they look fine. Um, oh, here we go. Yes! Nice. Um, but, I mean, you know, part of me also, uh, I just don't know anything about the character. So, like, the trailer, like, I can't get hyped for it because, uh, it's a character that I just, I've only read maybe, like, less than 20 comics ever, you know, ever. Um, and I think a couple of those were, um, Brian Michael Bendis's run on Avengers. I think she appeared towards like, like the Siege books and stuff, like that crossover. And I read some of those for the Venom vlog. So, yeah, I don't really know much about Carol Danvers. Uh, the only Captain Marvel I remember was um, Marvel, that guy. But I, I, again, I'm not a huge fan of that character either. I haven't read a lot of his stuff. Um, what? Because when I was a kid, it was uh, to me it was X Men. Uh, X Men was the coolest book. So unless something happened in X-Men, I didn't know about other characters. Um, so like, you know, like a Ghost Rider, he showed up in issue like nine of X-Men. And I was like, oh, cool. There's a Ghost Rider book. I should go buy issues one through, you know, whatever of Ghost Rider was out at the time. Um, I think it was like 20 issues. It was like 20 issues into Ghost Rider. And then I became a huge Ghost Rider fan. But it was because he crossed over with X-Men. Um... So yeah, a lot of times X-Men was my gateway into other Marvel characters. Nick Fury, I became a big Nick Fury fan because he used to pop up in early X-Men, early 90s X-Men books. Um, so did Captain America. He popped up a few times too. Uh, Zombie, it says, yeah, I don't know a dang thing about her, but she's cute and she kicks butt and it's going to be a part of Endgame, so consider me hyped. Oh, there you go. Um... Oh yeah, that's right. She she I guess she will be a part of Endgame. Um, because doesn't her movie takes place like in the nineties? So uh, yeah, that's cool. So all right, she does look. I mean, she, she her story looks a little bit like Green Lantern in a in a very basic way. It's like I think she's like a pilot. I'm like, oh, that's cool. Green Lantern's a pilot. Um, and then she like you know, I guess Green Lantern has memories. She looks like she's having trouble remembering who she is. Um, and then they're fighting shapeshifters, scrolls. Um, so that's cool too. <laughs> so yeah. I heard Ronan is going to be in the movie too, and I kind of liked him a little bit in Guardians of the Galaxy One, the villain Ronan. So apparently he's going to be in the movie too, as you know, pre Guardians uh, storyline. So that's kind of he'll be like a member of the Kree warriors. So that could be cool, seeing that character again. Cool zombie. Yeah, I hope you like the movie too. Well, I, I'm probably going to go see all of them. I, I know a lot of people, they like to label people like, oh, you're just like a Marvel shill or you're a DC show. It's like, hey, if I see a movie and I like it, 
that's I, I'm a show for that, you know, for the movie after I see it and like it, you know. Uh, the only time I've really got hyped and excited for a movie before it came out lately has been Venom. That's why I created a whole show based around my excitement. Um, I am starving. I wonder how many days have passed since I entered this cave. My only source of sustenance has been the water leaking out of the walls. I follow the smell of blood to this place. Normally I would not have been able to smell it, but hunger seems to have sharpened my senses. This is why I am now watching something I could not have imagined, even in my worst nightmares. A ghastly sight. Demons eating human prisoners alive. They pay no attention to their victims' screams. They just crunch their bones and chew up their flesh. I am standing still, just watching the scene so as to not be spotted by the demons. No, that is ex exactly what I have in mind. I am gazing upon a person's finger lying on the ground. When a person dies, its body becomes only meat. I begin to fear my desires. I am a wild scavenger, waiting expectantly for the scraps of food that the tigers leave behind. What evil thoughts I am having. Oh my goodness, so he's... He's getting so hungry, hiding from the demons that he... When he sees body parts laying around... That's kind of neat. That's like this is like the opposite of like Resident Evil, uh, where in Resident Evil like you're finding a bunch of different journals that tell different stories. This one is like kind of cool because you're finding like one person's journal, and you're seeing. You're kind of seeing like them slowly deteriorate over over a short amount of time. Um, hey, Seek, what's the story of this game? Hey, I can't take him. What's up? Um, well, so far there is a we're in like feudal Japan. There is a warlord named Nabunagu, who we thought ki was killed in the opening battle, but apparently he made a deal with a demon to uh, to be a mortal or something. So uh, and then he's just kidnapped a princess. So now we are going to go and try to rescue this princess because she could be the key in you know breaking the seal or destroying him or something. So. Uh, so we are playing as Somonosuke, and we have a friend named, uh, forgot her name, the princess named Yuki, and uh, we have a friend who's, oh, there's our friend, Kaida. Somonosuke, is there something you wanted to ask this young man? Do not be afraid. No! You want to hurt me like that other samurai did! That is not true. Please, tell me your name. <laughs> I, I, um, I Loni not... says, Umimaru. uh, oh, you Zombia says, yeah, thanks, hope we That's all enjoy the movie. There you go. Uh, I don't go to the movies often. I'm Why uncomfortable I... around loud sounds and crowds. Here? Yeah, that's a, that's exactly me too. Um, I don't go for the sim very similar reasons. Uh, being around a large, large crowd can sometimes be very draining. Sometimes I put myself through it. If I'm like super excited for the movie, or you know, or if I get to go to an event, I'll try to suck it up. Uh, but uh, unlike unlike recently, when I had the chance to go see the to the actual premiere with the cast and everything with my friend Andrew to see the Reign of the Superman animated movie. I was hurting so bad that day. I was like, I can't do it. Because if I have to deal with this pain on top of the discomfort of being around a crowd, I'm not going to make it, you know? Um, oh, whoa, what up? Oh, what? Good one, guys. Dang, there's a lot of guys in here. Um... So yeah, I you know I I'm the same way, lonely. Hello, I can't take him. Ooh, found a little thingy thing in there. Hey, that's okay. You know what? I'm a I'm a big boy. I'll I'll manage. <laughs> uh, all right, let's see. We have. That is not how to do that. I'm not going to get lucky like I did the first time. Do that. Oh, oh yeah, sorry. Um, boom. 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 Nope. I see what I'm... Okay. It's like, got to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So I'm, that's why I keep screwing up. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six. Um, bang. 
Ooh, the bow. What up? Oh, here we go. The gauntlet, the demon supplying. So, yeah. Okay, cool. Great. So now there's something down there to get. Yay. Oh, I guess I, I guess I could have pulled it up from here if I didn't cut the rope. Um, I'm, I'm a dum dum. Souls, yo. RE2 does look great. By the way, I can't wait for Resi 2. I can't either. This game feels like Resident Evil 2. Main character reminds me of Leon, and the girl reminds me of Claire, and the little boy is Sherry Birkin. <laughs> yeah, this, uh, so this was originally supposed to, look in the early de days of de de uh, developing this game, it was going to be a Resident Evil game. Um, and I can't remember if it was going to take place in the past, like in feudal Japan. Um, and deal with zombies back then, or if it was going to be modern day Japan, and then just someone. Um, how do I? I gotta go save these guys. Um, oh, okay. I won't open at my current level. What's wrong on my current level? Um. But then, like, early in development, they changed it to make an original game out of it. So, uh, so I'm sure there's a lot of similarities like that. I mean, like, you know, there's herbs in it, there's journals, there's, there's, there's already a lot of resi-type elements to this. Um, are those guys dead? I guess they are. But uh, Resident Evil 2, I'm so excited for. If you haven't seen my playthrough of the demo, I put it up on YouTube in two forms. Um, I... Oh, dang. Whoa, get him. He's like a nemesis. Um, I put up one with no commentary where I don't speak over it, and then the... After we played it, I we did like a 20-minute, you know, post-stream chat. Uh, so I edited all that together as like a, you know, one 45-minute video. So that version's up on YouTube, and those videos are here on Twitch currently, uh, if you're watching. But they'll be gone in like a, like a week or two. Um, and then I also on YouTube uh, recorded my own commentary, like a separate commentary, and put it over the gameplay. And talked about all the Easter eggs and everything in it. So uh, So there's two versions of me playing through even though it's the same footage um, but it's there's two versions of it so feel free to check it out but I am super pumped for that game we are um, I'm definitely buying it I turns out just coincidentally so like you know I'm a, a, I'm a team leader slash supervisor at my job um, I can't really ask for days off especially just to play video games like if I you know especially with as much you know I've had time off lately just to go to the doctors um, so Ah, okay. I was like, that's a big awkward box. Um, and so I was like, yeah, I'd, I'd feel really silly. I've been asking for time off recently for real, like, adult reasons. I would hate to ask off for just to play a video game. And, uh, and oh, here we go. The chasm of blah, blah, blah. Between and their plan. Okay. Um, but then I was at work the other day, and my boss, I go, hey... You know how, uh, you know, how, like what days do I have off next week? And she goes, "Do you want a day off?" And I said, "No." I was like, "I just want to see what days I do have off." Um, you know, because there's a video game coming out, and uh, I just want to see what days I can tell people I can stream it. So if I'm off like Saturday, I'll wait till Saturday to play it. You know, vice versa or whatever. And she goes, uh, she was kind of like laughed, and she's like, "Seek if you know you've been sick lately. If you want to take a day off, 
to play video games. I don't care. And I go, no, it's fine. I was like, I just want to know what days I have off. And she goes, well, right now I have you off uh, Wednesday and Friday. And I was like, well, Resident Evil comes out on Friday. So I was like, can you keep that? Like, is that, can you can make that official? And she goes, yeah. So there you go. I have the day Resident Evil comes out, I have it off. And I think I closed the night before. So I'll come home and download it. I'll just buy the digital copy. I'll download it and we'll play it all night long. And then I'll, you know, take a nap at like five in the morning or six in the morning, whenever we beat it the first time as like Leon or Claire. And then we'll take a, like a four or five hour break. And then I'll come back in the afternoon on the 25th and play the opposite stream. I'll probably play Claire first and Leon second. I'm most likely going to do it that way. I feel like everyone's going to be playing Leon first. And I'm like, eh, I'd rather play Claire first. So if it lets us. So yes. So anyway, um, that is going to be the end of the stream tonight, guys and girls. Um, I, I think it's a good stopping point. It's about an hour in and uh, we just hit a save spot. And we're kind of trapped in here. Like, we have to go around and level up in order to get, you know, further into the game. So I figure we'll do that next time. Um, tomorrow night, I'm probably going to sit around and stream. I mean, sit around and work on Resident Evil lore videos. And then I'm going to record two Venom vlog episodes. So starting Thursday, you should start seeing stuff going up on my YouTube channel again. And then this, um, as soon as we're done streaming here, I'm going to see if I can upload this to YouTube to my gaming channel. And you'll see a lot of activity on that. Like I said, we're going to take all my old streaming videos from my main channel we're going to delete them and transfer them over to my gaming channel um, so everything over on my gaming channel set up i have all my playlists for different games if you want to see me play tomb raider or the halo games or other resident evil games all that stuff is going to be on the secondary channel uh, those tend not to get a lot of views so i figured why not just shove them over to my secondary channel and to where I'm not, you know, hoping for a lot of views and we can just put them over there. So that way people who tune into my main channel, the Venom Vlog, they only get those types of shows, like news type shows about movie news or comic reviews. So that's how I'm going to do the channels from, from here moving forward. So hopefully you guys um, enjoy that. Uh, thank you for being here. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for following me. Uh, we had 400 Twitter followers. Uh, so if you don't follow me on Twitter, please do at Venom Vlog and uh, Instagram. We hit 1400 followers. So I, now that's also at Venom Vlog. So I'm trying to brand everything as Venom Vlog on YouTube. We're just Venom Vlog now. You can look us up at, at you know, just Venom Vlog on YouTube. And that'll bring the channel up. And then the gaming channel is called Spitting Venom. Um, and then here on Twitch, we're called Spitting Venom as well. So you guys, uh, easier way to keep track of all my stuff is just keeping it under like two names. Instead of like Seek and Destroy. And, you know, I had like five or six different names before. So now it's all a little bit closer to branding and it's all revolves around venom which is what i wanted um so uh so thank you guys thanks for the endless support last year and to 2019 hope it's going to be fun for all of us we'll come back and maybe play this tomorrow night um i i think i open tomorrow yeah i open tomorrow but i'm, I'm home pretty early so if i can get my other videos done maybe around 10 o'clock tomorrow night we'll come back and play another hour of this so uh hopefully that's the case and we can make that happen so good night, y'all. Good night, Zombie Goat. Thanks for popping in. Lonely, I can't take him. Good to see all of you again. Thanks for being here. I'll see you in the future. Peace. <laughs>